Did you know you can capture a profiler trace for Power BI Desktop? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube. Today we're gonna to take a look at how you can actually capture a profiler trace for the AS instance that's sitting underneath Power BI Desktop. If you didn't know, for the data model with inside of Power BI Desktop, we actually have an analysis services instance sitting as a child process underneath Power BI Desktop. It's a full-blown AS instance. And because it's a full-blown AS instance, we can actually capture a profiler trace from it. So how do we go about doing that? First up, you're gonna need Profiler, which comes from the SQL Server Management Tools. You can go ahead and download those management tools by way of the Express product. So I've got a link down below, and if you go to that link, one of the options you can actually download are the management tools. Once you have that, one of the challenges we have is that the AS instance itself is on a non-default port, so we can't just connect to like localhost. We've got to go find what that port is because SQL Browser is not there, so we don't have any help. There's not an actual named instance. Before we find the port, we have to find the process ID, and to find the process ID, we have a couple different options. One we can do, which is right out of the box, is just to use Task Manager. And you can get to Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and then going to Task Manager. If you're in Windows 10, we want to go to the Details tab. If you're in Windows 8 or Windows 7, we want to go to the Processes tab. And if it's not showing the PID column, we're going to want to go up to View and, and Columns and pick the PID or Process ID column. In Task Manager, we're gonna be looking for msmdsrv.exe. That is the analysis services process. And then from there, we can find the PID or the process ID. Make note of that. The other option we have is to use Process Explorer. You can go and get Process Explorer from sysinternals.com. It's a free download. This is a tool that Mark Rosinovich created. And the nice thing about Process Explorer is it gives us a tree view. So we can actually go look for Power BI Desktop, and then we can see the child process there of the msmdsrv and we can just look over to the right and see the process ID. Once you have the process ID, the way that I find the port is I just go open up a command prompt and type in netstat-anop space tcp, and it will list out all of the ports that are in use that we're listening on, and it will also list the process ID that's part of that. So you wanna go find the process ID and then look over to the left and find what port it's running on. Once you have the port, go ahead and open up Profiler Trace and you wanna to connect to localhost colon and the port that we found. From there, it's a normal Profiler Trace. You can just hit run right away to start capturing data and reproduce your issue. Okay, that was a quick look to see how we can actually go get a Profiler Trace from analysis services that's part of Power BI Desktop. Hopefully this helps you if you run into issues or you wanna see what's going on. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Does this help you? Is this something you're interested in? Love to hear that. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item such as this, where I either look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or just what a new feature is. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I take a look at the last week and I put together the things that I found interesting in that week and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.